Good evening class, my name is Joshua Causing, and today I'm going to be presenting my e-portfolio as well as my print portfolio for you guys. Uh, before we start, I wanted to give yourself a little bit about me. Growing up, I was always attracted to art and the creative things of learning. Um, I also took art and band in middle school, so there's a lot of creative background uh, growing up through my schooling and education. Uh, recently, I've been freelancing for a wide range of clients, uh, from social media to gaming and YouTube, and that's been really, really fun for me. I edit videos, create graphics, and even do some a little bit of animation and photography. Um, but other than that, let's get on to my actual portfolio. Uh, so here on the website, you have my name and everything and a little bit about me, and then on to the actual work. We can see up here, I have my personal business cards displayed. It's actually a design that I had created, so I wanted to highlight that. Also, it gives uh, viewers a look at what I actually do and a little bit of information. So I created this in Adobe Photoshop, and I wanted to keep my similar color scheme of blue, black, and gray, and white. Uh, on the front side, I put my name, Joshua Quasing, and my job title, Graphic Designer. And I styled it in a way that it looks like it's in, it's sketched inside the actual business card itself with a little inner shadow. And then I use gradients and a assortment of patterns uh, to make the background and styling that you see on the, the actual business card. On the back, I have listed all my contact information from uh, where I'm located, my phone number, and website, and how they can contact me, as well as my logo on the front side and the back side. The front side is in all silver uh, to fit with the theme and better fit on the actual blue, on the black background. And then on the back you have it in full color. And with the logo it's a JC and then underneath it is graphic design. So you get my initials, nice and modern, and then what I do just from the logo. On to the next piece of is called Up a Tree. And this is a photograph, it's a photograph that I took with a Canon EOS Rebel T6. That is my current uh, camera that I'm using for photography. I took it at an ISO 400, a 1 100 shutter speed, and a 6.3 f-stop at 39 millimeters. The objective of this photo shoot was to take different photographs from different view viewpoints or angles. So in this particular one, it was a cloudy day and I decided to snap a photo uh, looking directly up a tree. Uh, I love all the bark and natural color that comes off of it as well as you can see all the different branches going every which way it kind of creates a mood, hectic mood, it's very gloomy uh, but the shadows and deep rich color that came out of it is really really attracted me to this photo and so I included it in my portfolio. Onto this next piece, it is actually a personal social media banner that I created for myself in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, it is currently the one that I actually use uh, to this day. And for the font, I chose one, it's a script font called, it's a little hard to pronounce, but it's, um, it almost looks painted. And I messed around with the different font choices. The J and the C are actually two separate layers. Um, so that I could customize the way that it fit uh, together. Um, and for the background, I used a straight up office theme. I wanted to keep it office themed and professional. And I really wanted the blacks and the whites to really stand out. As well as getting some of that rich uh, brown color from the actual desk itself to come through. But I wanted to keep it mostly black. And that's what I had created. Onto the next piece is an abstraction poster that I created in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, for this piece, I, we were supposed to use a photograph of ourselves as the base and then create an abstract poster around that. When creating this actual design in Photoshop, I used a combination of rectangle tools, uh, shape, just different shape tools in Fit in General, as well as different patterns. And I also used a filter gallery and a render effect for the, uh, the lens flare, as you can see in the middle right there. Uh, so all of all, it all came together and for the background I used a nice little texture, uh, and in my revision I had 
completed the, the circle and kept myself within that circle so it'd be nice and clean. And that is my final design for that piece. This next one is called Warm Reflection. It is another photograph that I took here in Abilene with my Canon EOS Rebel T6. Uh, I took it at an ISO of 100, a shutter speed of 1 400, and an f-stop of 8 at 55 millimeters. This shot was taken at Kellyong Park in Abilene, Texas, and it was about 30 minutes before the sun was setting. Uh, so there was a lot of warm colors that I, were, that I was able to bring out. I love the reflection off the water. That was one thing that really attracted me to this photo. And I love the silhouetting, silhouetting of the tree and the leaves uh, with the backlighting of the sun. Uh, and in Photoshop, I just enhanced the saturation to bring out even more of that warmth. And that's how I got this photograph. For this next portion, I want to take a look at the print portfolio. Here is my cover for the portfolio. I wanted to have a unique style for my name, Klausing, Joshua Klausing, uh, in this kind of like Scrabble or unique uh, setup here. And then I added a drop shadow to all the different text uh, to give some uh, 3D or some unique uh, styling to it. And then you have graphic design portfolio. So you have my name, what it is, and also my logo here in the middle. Uh, so what we have here is an Abilene Farmer's Market flyer. Uh, I created this in Adobe Photoshop. And this was a school project uh, for a local farmer's market. We needed to express uh, when it was taking place, what was going to be there, and where the uh, farmer's mark was actually going to be located. And in the previous unit, we had created the logo, which was up here in the top right. My thought process beyond this was to keep it natural and to find a really nice visual. Uh, as you can see with the produce, is the main highlight or subject of this flyer. Uh, when I was looking at the font choices, I wanted to keep it mostly the same, uh, consistent, and uh, visually pleasing throughout. Uh, I used a combination of shape layers, mostly rectangles, um, to create a visual hierarchy and kind of guide the viewer down the page uh, until you get to the where and on to the bottom uh, while keeping that main visual intact. Onto this next piece, it's called Breath of Life. It is a stamp series that I also created in Adobe Photoshop. All of the photos that I took were actually in my Fundamentals of Photography class, and they were all nature themed when I, all of the photos were actually taken near a creek uh, here in Abilene, Texas. They were either of myself or photos uh, of flowers and just nature itself. So I wanted to create a stamp series uh, behind that. Uh, in Photoshop, I took them all and edited them using the filter gallery, gallery and made them into more illustrative photos. And for the border, uh, we say it's a USA stamp, and I used the colors uh, within each photo uh, to make the color of the actual stamp itself. And then I, I named them Adventure, Beautiful, Discovery, and Graceful, all kind of adjectives of like nature or uh, just being outside and like discovering. Uh, different aspects of life. So on to this next one. It's called the Star Wars Movie Posters. I also created this in Adobe Photoshop. This was a school project uh, where we were given the instruction to create three different uh, movie posters for our chosen movie. And so I started, I chose Star Wars The Last Jedi. Uh, the main one that I wanted to highlight was the lightsaber one. Uh, and then the other ones are two characters, Kylo Ren and Rey. Uh, but I really want to highlight the Star Wars uh, lightsaber one. So uh, in Photoshop, there was 22 layers uh, per uh, lightsaber. Uh, so I used a combination of rectangle and shape tools, as well as gradients uh, to get the colors and the shape of the lightsaber right, or how I wanted it. And it came out really nicely, and then I used some outer grows and layer styles uh, to make it actually look like a lightsaber. And then I duplicated them and changed the color to blue and green to fit all of the uh, Star Wars colors. In the background, I kept it minimal, kind of a, a light blue, and then I created another circle behind the lightsabers to give some contrast off the background. 
and then I added the Star Wars logo and with an overlay to match the other colors. So that is the movie posters. Onto my SD Innovations logo design. I created this in Adobe Illustrator and it was a mock-up business uh, that I created in advertising and sales promotion. Uh, it was a great course where we learned a lot of good information. Mine was a appliance and electronic business and this was the so I wanted to keep the I wanted to keep it kind of st tech style kind of blocky and then I added a 3d little gradient a slight variant uh, to give a little 3d uh, to the logo then on the bottom here we have the SD innovations typography ad this was also created in Adobe Photoshop it is a Typography add only using different uh, keywords or phrases that are associated with SD innovations. And then I ch choose to do a two tone green and blue uh, color scheme uh, with the logo at the bottom. I wanted to kind of have like a nice little standout thing uh, and while associating it with the SD innovations brand. And that is it for my portfolio and ePortfolio. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys have a great day and take care.